Have you ever thought about moving to Chandler, Arizona? Well, if you have, we are going to explore everything that you need to know if you're going to live in Chandler, Arizona. I mean, who would have thought in the desert you have water and real grass? In the desert? Yes, Chandler, Arizona, you have that and more. So stay tuned. We're getting after it right now. Okay guys, Chandler is an amazing place to live and it's very convenient. Chandler is actually surrounded by three major interstates, Loop 101, Loop 202, and then of course you have the I-10 not very far away. So it's very convenient to get to anywhere you wanna go in the rest of the valley. Chandler is also highly rated. In fact, every single year, no matter what national ranking system you choose to use, Chandler is rated in the top 10 for almost every single major category for the last several years. Categories like best cities to find a job, best cities to buy a family home, best cities to become wealthy, renting affordability, tech jobs, and the most livable city. So Chandler fits the top 10 rankings on those descriptions almost every single year as just an amazing place to live. Okay, so the population of Chandler, guys, is 270,000 people. It has a landmass of 65 square miles, and that is huge for a suburb of most major metropolitan areas. So 65 square miles, the average income in Chandler, Arizona for a household is $106,000 a year, and the median house price currently in Chandler, Arizona in 2021 here is $301 thousand dollars. All right guys, so history of Chandler. Chandler was founded in 1891 by a guy named Dr. A.J. Chandler. Lucky guess, right? I'm sure you never would have thought that a town of Chandler would be, city of Chandler now, would be founded by a guy with the last name of Chandler. I guess it could have been the first name, right? But back then, nobody had the first name Chandler. Let's be clear, right? Probably Adam or, you know, something like that. But anyways, he bought 80 acres of land in 1891 and he actually started studying irrigation engineering now back then that was a relatively new discipline of study type of engineering irrigation engineering was very new especially in the desert but he ended up being very instrumental in bringing a lot of the canal watering system to the arid sonoran dry desert which now um, the phoenix greater metro area still uses to this day so pretty cool that chandler at a big hand in what our watering system is that we still use today to get water properly here in the desert. Okay guys, we are filming the Chandler Fashion Center and you know, it's early. It's about uh, 10 o'clock here on a Thursday. So there's not a lot of people out shopping just quite yet. Hopefully a lot of these people are, you know, doing some work. This is the Price Corridor, and this is Business Hub Central of Chandler, Arizona. We are now entering into the South Chandler area, otherwise known as the Ocotillo area. And guys, there are so many high paying tech jobs in these several square miles right in this corridor. It's very, very impressive. You have several micro chip manufacturers down here. Some businesses you have heard of, like Intel, some ones you have not. You have North Rumman, you have GM Financial, Toyota Financial. Okay guys, so this is the corporate headquarters of Intel Corporation. Yes, the Intel that you see in with microchips in almost every single possible computer in the world, it feels like. This is their corporate headquarters. This is the largest 
microchip manufacturing campus or facility in the entire world located right here in Chandler, Arizona. There's Innovation Street and Processor Parkway, and I'm gonna get in trouble. Guys, Intel is responsible actually for bringing in $8 billion in revenue to the town of Chandler every single year. This is a huge employment center for the city of Chandler. Intel is one of the big reasons why the average household income in Chandler is over $100,000 a year. Guys, we're in Fulton Ranch right now, which is a huge neighborhood, only minutes from the Intel campus in South Chandler, the Ocotillo area. As you can see, guys, this neighborhood is phenomenal. It has water that runs all the way through it, and prices in here actually are very, very affordable too, but they also have a luxury end as well. So prices for single family homes in Fulton Ranch will start in the $400,000 price point, and they will go all the way up on the very high end to about $4 million. Yeah, so it can get really nice in here. Lots, usually, as you can see, some of these homes are uh, fairly small, you know, 7,500 to 10,000 square foot lots for most of the properties, especially the ones that are lower on the price point. Those lots obviously will be smaller, and they do have larger lots in Fulton Ranch as well. The amenities are amazing in Fulton Ranch, so if you have a family, it's hard to beat Fulton Ranch, guys. And look at this set, the serene sound. That made no sense. And look at this serene setting for you and your family to enjoy. Chandler, Arizona neighborhoods are just like this, landscaped very nicely. Now they are part of an HOA, so you will have to pay dues for that, but the HOA is you know, around $100 or actually a little bit less than that per month. And uh, you get a very nice community to live in, one with amenities, and just a lot of family-friendly activities. There's a school right here in Fulton Ranch as well. And schools in Chandler are extremely highly rated. So you go to any rating system for schools in Chandler, Arizona, and you will find that it's hard to go wrong. One of the top 
three districts in the entire Phoenix metro area located right here in Chandler, Arizona. the many parks in Chandler, Arizona. In fact, Chandler has more parks per capita than any other area in the entire state of Arizona. Okay guys, this is Hamilton High School located right here in Chandler. Hamilton actually is a sports athletic powerhouse. In fact, there are three different high schools here in Chandler and they've all won the state football championship at some point or another here in the last several years. So if you're uh, into sports or kids into sports and especially football, it's gonna be hard to live anywhere else besides Chandler because all the programs are great, schools are great, and they win a lot of football games. Guys, here's a new parking structure that the city just built, which is really cool. Downtown Chandler is very happening, and so it has actually a very good nightlife here, so they needed more parking. And here's the best part. The city of Chandler has guaranteed the residents that parking in downtown Chandler will always be free. I mean, who does that? Free parking, especially in a downtown setting? That's unheard of, but not for the city of Chandler. That's why we love it. I mean, who doesn't love free parking? Free 99, my favorite. Guys, Chandler also has a very, very live arts scene, okay? They have the Center for Performing Arts right here, as you can see in the video, and they also have a symphony as well. So it's not all about just entertainment, good beers, and bourbon or alcohol or spirits. It's also about the arts. Alright guys, this is the San Marcos Plaza. This is actually Chandler's first shopping center. This little district right in here. Pretty cool. Done a great job maintaining it. And now it's obviously a hotel here. Nice quaint hotel overlooking the strip of downtown Chandler. Alright guys, we are actually approaching Santan Brewery right here. One of my favorite beers in the entire world is made right here. It's a nice galactic IPA called Moon Juice. If you haven't had Moon Juice, check it out. They don't distribute nationally, okay? But if you have a chance to go to a boutique wine store, Total Wine, Bebmo, or something like that, maybe in your city, see if they have Moon Juice. It is, mm, it's a nice hazy IPA, very nice. All right guys, we're gonna take you into one of the best coffee shops in the state of Arizona. You heard it here first. So guys, right here in, in downtown Chandler, this is awesome, right? Because all the original architecture of how the buildings were first constructed have to stay. So look at the 
architecture here of these buildings is just really quaint, phenomenal shops, restaurants. And if you uh, want to open a business here in Chandler, actually in downtown, you actually have to get special permitting through the city um, on any changes you might want to make, but they will be very, very strict on the type of uh, architecture that you decide to you know, use or do or construct for the front of your business. Bourbon Jacks. Oh, check this out. We got Luke. Dude, this place is amazing. Bourbon Jacks. Check this out. Really cool. Shoe thrill? Wait, 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 wait. Ladies. I mean, come on. What? Can you get a better name for a store? Okay, sweet. So you, so this is the crowd favorite, and when the new menu comes out tomorrow for the mm -hmm. fall, what's the number one drink people should know about? Ooh, so I would say our pumpkin one that's coming out is really exciting. Pumpkin's and we're awesome. also gonna have like a matcha that's gonna have pumpkin in it as well, so. Really? I mean, instead of getting pumpkin spice other places, I would do it here. No doubt. Yeah, Guys, pumpkin sure. spice or pumpkin <laughs> latte, whatever, right here. Don't go to Starbucks, come here. <laughs> support local. We're all about support local in Chandler, Arizona, downtown. Boom. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. Support local coffee shop in downtown Chandler, Peixoto. Peixoto Coffee. It's phenomenal, guys. I highly recommend to check it out. Peixoto. And if you don't know how to pronounce that, they make it real easy for you. Peixoto. So a guy like me just can't screw it up. Otherwise, I definitely would have. <laughs> For housing in Chandler, Arizona, guys, you have an array of variety and prices, but it is very affordable. A neighborhood like the Springs here is nice. You do have some lots with water, as you can see. But a lot of these homes will start in the 300s and go up to the six, seven hundred thousand dollar mark, and they are in an HOA. Chandler is a very affordable city with the median price point of a home being obviously just over three hundred thousand dollars. There is a little bit for everyone in the city, and it's very family friendly. Okay guys, in Chandler you also have homes that are not in an HOA. And again, they're gonna be older homes because anything that's built in the last 20 to 30 years most likely will be in an HOA. This neighborhood right here is a good example of that. You have homes that are older, no HOA, irrigated lots, which is nice with all the grass and natural grass. But as you can see, they don't have the same aesthetics as the properties that are located within a community that has an HOA. So it's a little bit of everything in Chandler for whatever it is you may want to have. Guys, thank you for joining us here on a video of the full city tour of Chandler, Arizona, an amazing place to live, work, and play. So guys, please ring the notification bell below, subscribe to our channel. We're putting out videos twice a week, every Tuesday and Thursday, because again, we are passionate about everything Phoenix, and that's why we named our YouTube channel Everything Phoenix. Guys, if you have any questions about Chandler Real Estate, moving up, moving down, relocating to Phoenix, and may want more information about the general area or the Chandler specifically, please reach out and give us a call at 888-KCREG11. That's 888-527-3411, or email at info at kellycookhomes.com. We will get back to you right away. 
And also, leave a comment below, guys. Let us know what you think of these videos. We're trying to improve them. We want to make them as informative and as great for you as the viewer as certainly possible. So please do that. And you can also check our Instagram page out at Kelly Cook Real Estate Group and see what else we have going on where we are doing uploads daily of what's going on in the life of our real estate team and what's going on in the city of Phoenix. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful day. And uh, don't forget, 